away. Charlie and I uh, work there. <laughs> I mean, I've been playing with the cat for 40 years now. I mean, I'm the most blessed man in the world. I mean, the first drummer I ever really worked with was Charlie Watson. I'm still working with him, and it's uh, a constant source of enjoyment. Sometimes up there, we try and screw each other up. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll cut the beat up a little bit, and but he'll he'll already he'll trip me back. Boom! You know, this is like little games. You know, we don't really mean to do that, but sometimes you know you get like mischievous, and uh, and do that kind of thing. And uh, I mean, Charlie, if I can if I can flip the beat for a moment, he'll, he'll catch it back and like he'll lay it back on me. And I'm like, yeah, 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 all right, cool, man. <laughs> But it's, uh, it's an, I, a lot of it's experience, but at the same time, Charlie Watts, he's one of the greatest drummers in the damn world is ever going to see. And uh, I mean, it's so beautifully spontaneous and firm. He's got, he got the moods, you know? I mean, I've, and I've worked, you know, in, between him and Steve Jordan and Charlie Drayton, Georgie Rosselli, and Joseph Modeliste from the Meters. I mean, I've worked with some of the best drummers. I've been blessed that way. And without a great drummer, it's such hard work to like just keep the thing going, you know. But with a drummer, they give you the freedom to be able to, yeah, do what you want to do. I mean, you don't feel like tied down, you know. And that's really what it is. Mm. What do I do without you? Say that life goes on I'm feeling sorry for myself